What up, folks? Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, and I've got a very special guest joining me today. I'd like to introduce Mr. Alex Tech. Thanks. What up, folks? Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech. And in this video, we're going to be showing you a really great way of editing together podcasts or Zoom calls or anything like that. Anything where you've got multiple different shots of different people having a conversation from webcams or whatever, and you want to be able to switch between them really easily, but also then switch to a, a group, group shot of everyone on screen at the same time as well. Now we're, we're going to be doing, doing this using the multicam, multicam feature. feature. So you can really quickly change angles from this to a shot of me like this, or to a wide group shot of the both of us like this. Now this is built around a technique I demonstrated in last week's 5 Minute Friday video, so make sure to check that out because all of this will make a little bit more sense if you watch that one first. Yep, make sure to do exactly that. Now for this demonstration, there's just the two of us, but this will technically work with as many different angles and as many different people as you like. Cool, with all that out the way, let's open, open DaVinci Resolve, Resolve and take a look. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve on the edit tab. I've already imported the two pieces of footage I'm going to use for this demo. So first thing, I just need to drag them and add them onto my timeline like so. Now, at this point, what you'll need to do is just to make sure the conversation flows. If it's a podcast and you've recorded, obviously, from two people's cameras, you just need to line everything up so as one person's talking, the other person isn't, and vice versa, just so that everything fits together. Now, it's also not a bad idea to do any color grading and that sort of thing right now before we start getting further down into the process. Mine's already done, so that's perfect. I can just get cracking with making the multicam. So what I like to do now is come into the media pool, you can see timeline one, which has just been created. Double click on the word timeline so it's highlighted, and then you can give this timeline a name. I like to go with something like Multicam. We're then going to right click on this timeline within the media pool, and we're going to duplicate the timeline. You'll see a Multicam copy. Same thing, just double click on the name, and I like to call this Wide Angle or something along those lines. Now we're going to come back to the wide angle in a moment, so just double click to make sure you're still within the multicam. Now this is basically ready to go if you just want it looking like this. I'm going to add a coloured frame to it, it's entirely optional. If you don't want to do that, skip ahead, there's timestamps down below. But if you do want to see how I made that, I'm going to show you real quick now. So what I like to do first, I'm going to click on this second clip, the top one here, so it's highlighted. And then I'm going to hit D on my keyboard, and it's just going to deactivate that so I can see this first clip underneath like so. Then I'm going to open up the effects library. I'm going to come down to open effects. I'm going to scroll all the way down until I get to the resolve FX transform area, video collage, and then just drag that onto there like so. And by default, it will add these four different tiles, which isn't quite what we want. So give it a click on the timeline, open up the inspector, go to the effects tab, make sure to click on video collage if you don't see the options, and then we can make our changes in here. So first thing, you've got workflow and it says create background, which is why we've got the tiles and our video is acting as the background. We need to change that to create tile and it'll put our footage in the top left hand corner. Then underneath here, we've got layout and columns. So I'm just going to reduce this to one and one because I've only got one tile at the moment and it just puts it in the middle with nice round corners. It's just a really nice, quick, easy way of doing this look. If we click on the tiles tab, there's a bunch of other options in here as well. So you can create different shapes, you can add different borders if you want to with different colors. There's loads of options here that you can use to create the look that you're going for. I'm gonna to go to drop shadow, and I'm just gonna increase this. We won't be able to see it at the moment, but we will shortly. So I'm just gonna increase that. We'll guesstimate for now, I'm gonna go with about 0.5. So now we just need to add a different colored background behind it. So I'm going to drag my two pieces of footage on my timeline, just up a track, like so. And then we can add something here which is going to act as our background. You can use a photo or a video or whatever, I'm just going to use a solid colour. So within the effects library, I'm going to go to generators, solid colour, drag this on, we'll make it the right length, like so. We're going to give the solid colour a click. In the inspector, in the generator tab, we've got colour. We can just change the colour to be whatever we want it to be. So let's just go with a bit of a blue like so. And now we can also see our drop shadow is working as we want it. So that looks looking pretty cool. Now I'm just gonna to go to my second clip. I'm gonna hit D to bring it back. And we just need to apply the same thing to this second clip. So I'm just gonna drag it up one to create a space here on video track number three. I'm gonna duplicate my solid color. So I'm gonna give it a click Hold the Alt key and then drag it up like so to make a duplicate really quickly and easily. 
And then we're gonna go to the inspector and we'll just change the color. Let's just drag it over here and go with a bit of a purple, like so. Now there's a real quick way to apply the same tile settings from this one to this one. So we're just gonna select this first clip down here. We'll hit a control and C on our keyboard to copy. We'll click on this second one and then we're gonna do an Alt and V or a Command and V. Make sure this plugins tick box is ticked right here and then hit apply. And that will just apply the exact same settings to this one like so. Now at the moment, this is gonna be our multicam and we've got four tracks, which isn't ideal. So what we need to do is just highlight this second one and this solid color. We'll right click and we'll turn this into a compound clip. And I'll just call this one second. And we'll do the same to this first clip with the solid color, highlight them both right click, new compound clip, and I'll call this one first. Now everything's moved around a little bit. All I'm gonna do is right click over here on an empty space and click on delete empty tracks. And that's just gonna tidy everything up, bring all my tracks together. So we've just got two tracks like so. And now we've got this one and this one. So when we do the multicam, the background's already there and it's just gonna work really well and look really nice. Now we can leave this one for now and we're gonna double click to open up our wide angle. Now what we need to do for this one is to create that wide angle look. Now again, what you can do is obviously just transform them and move them where you want them. But again, I'm gonna use the video color just because I like it and think it's really easy to do. So I'm gonna disable this top one. We're gonna open up the open effects. We're gonna grab our video collage once again We'll drop this onto this first clip here. We'll give it a click. We'll go to effects in the video collage, change this to create tile. And now this time, rather than using one and one, we need one and two. So I'm gonna just reduce my rows down to one. So I've got two columns and one rows. You will obviously need to pick however many you need for your podcast or whatever it is you're doing. If you want to see the layout, click on this preview layout box and you can see exactly where all the tiles are gonna be like so. I'm just gonna turn that off, and I just want the two like so, so I'm ready to go. I'm gonna to go to tiles, and I'm just gonna apply the same drop shadow that I did previously to about there, and there we go, that's ready to go. And then if we just do the same copy on this one, Alt and V on this second one, make sure plugins is enabled and apply that. I'm just gonna hit D on my keyboard to bring it back, and there we go. Now it's in the wrong place because it's also over on the left. So give it a click in effects, go to the tiles and then you've got active tile, change that to tile two. And there we go, perfect. So now we've got the two angles at once, it's all lined up and it's ready to go. Now if we wanted once again to change the color, I'm just gonna drag these up. I'm gonna grab a generator, solid color. We'll give this one another color as well, so something completely different. Let's go with a bright yellow, and there we go. Now again, I'm gonna highlight everything, right click, compound clip, we'll call this one multi. We will tidy it up once again, right click, delete empty tracks, and there we go. So we've got everything done, we've got our multicam and we've got our wide angle. So go back to your multicam timeline where you've got your two pieces of footage, I'm gonna grab the wide angle timeline and then we're just gonna drag that onto here as a third track. So now we've got this track of the two of us. If I just hit D to hide that one, we've got this track of the one angle and then we've got this track of the third angle. So you can see where this is going. We just need to multicam this and it's good to go. So on this multicam timeline within your media pool, just right click and we're gonna convert the timeline to a multicam clip, like so. So that's converted it to a multicam clip. Now what we need to do is just to create a new final project timeline. So we can either right click within the media pool or I can just hit Control and N on my keyboard. I'm gonna call this one final and click create. And then I can grab my multicam from within the media pool, drag that onto my timeline and we have this multicam that's ready to go. So let's just trim this down a little bit. We're gonna close the inspector. We're gonna open up the multicam settings just by clicking on this little window here, these two little screens to open up both our screens like so. Underneath this left preview screen, click on the drop down and go to multicam. And then we can see all three of our angles like so. So I want to be on the first one for this intro. So we'll hit play. 
And at this point, I can either use the number pads across the keyboard, or I can just click on video track number two, and it will cut to this section with the different color. Like so. Now there's a point here where we all talk and I want the wide angle. So at this point, I can just click on my third angle. And we can just edit the podcast, cutting between the angles as we go. If we need to add any additional content, we can just put it above on any additional tracks. We can add music, we can do whatever we want. We can even cut sections out if we need to, like so, knowing that it's all still gonna be lined up because it's all just a single multicam and everything will work exactly as expected. Now, one last quick thing to show you, because we created compound clips as we went through the process, it's actually really easy to make any changes to our different multicam shots. So open up your media pool and you're looking for the compound clips. Now there are those icons with this square little icon next to them. If you followed the process similar to me with two shots at a wide angle, you should have three of them. So I've got first, second, and I've got multi over here. Now, if I right click on this multi, I can open in its own timeline. So I can just open up this multicam. I've got the two shots with the solid color. So if I decide I randomly want to change the color, I can just click on solid color, open up the inspector, make any changes. Let's make this bright red like so. And then if we were to go back to the final timeline, skip forward to that section, you can see that's now red, which is really cool. Now, the other thing you can do with that, if I do the same thing again, I'm gonna open up my multi, and we've got our two shots. If I decide, for whatever reason, I want to change the video collage settings, I can. So let's just do a quick cut here. So we've got these two sections now, and on this second section over to the right-hand side, I'm gonna to come to my first one, and we'll just change the layout. So let's go to globals and we're going to change it to be one column and two rows. And we'll go to the second clip, do the same thing here. Globals, one column, two rows. We'll go to tiles. We just need to change that one to be tile number two. And there we go. So now the wide angle looks like this at this point and this at this point. So again, if we go back to the final timeline, depending on where we make the cut to our wide angle will depend on how this looks. So if I go back here to the wide angle, at that point, it looks like that, but over here, it looks like that. So it just gives you loads of options. You can keep going back to your original compound clips, changing the colors, changing the layout, messing around with it until you get it exactly as you want it. And there you go, easy as that. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, any thoughts or feedback down in the comment section below. And as always, if you're new here, you enjoyed the video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Thanks for watching, folks. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.